An elderly Scottish woman has been found deceased in her home, and according to authorities, she may have been there for as long as 12 years. Yes, you heard that correctly. Which is absolutely insane that it took this long to find her. And we're going to be getting into all of the details on what led to finding her in just a moment. But first, if you could do us a big favor and tap that like button, we would really appreciate it. With that out of the way, let's just begin today's story. The elderly woman has been identified as Christina Malley, who authorities believe was in her 80s at the time of her body being discovered in her Aberdeen home. Now, what led to the shocking discovery is actually all thanks to this recent pandemic. After Christina had missed her appointment for a COVID-19 vaccine, a few nurses stopped by to make sure everything was alright. The New York Daily News reports, Investigators believe an elderly Scottish woman who was discovered dead may have been dead for up to 12 years. Christina Malley's body was found last month in her home after she didn't show up for a COVID vaccine appointment. Although this story is not done right here. No, no, no. It actually gets much darker. The craziest part of this whole story is that Christina did not live alone. The woman actually lived with her husband Daniel, who according to the Daily Record, stated when authorities arrived that his wife had gone abroad. Yes, she had indeed gone abroad to the great beyond, but her physical body had never left the house. Bizarrely enough, the husband invited the authorities inside, which is when they discovered Christina's remains. Currently, the situation is being treated as unexplained by authorities, and further investigations and inquiries are going to be taking place. That being said, the Daily Record, which first published the story, noted that the woman's body could have been inside the home for close to 12 years, as I mentioned. However, they did not go into detail regarding how the police came to this conclusion. The Sun newspaper also published that her husband, Daniel, told the police he held onto his wife's body because he could not accept that she was gone. Now, the police will be tasked with investigating what led to this woman's death. A source close to the ongoing police probe say that Mr. Malley said she had died of natural causes a few years ago, but wasn't exactly sure when. A source also said of the ongoing police probe into Christina's tragic death that Mr. Malley kept the body in the house because he didn't want to be apart from his wife in life or sadly in death. Adding, he told anyone who'd asked she was abroad, but most neighbors didn't know she even existed. And when asked by reporters, her neighbors admitted that they did in fact have no idea she even existed. Even with recorded proof that she had lived next to them for more than 25 years. Residents noted that her husband Daniel was also a regular at the pub and paper shop, but no one ever saw a wife with him. According to Records Online, Daniel and Christina got married in 1976 and in 1995 moved into the home where her body was discovered. However, locals told the press that they never saw any family or friends visiting and that Daniel had allegedly repeatedly refused care or medical help even for himself. When the nurses began to get concerned, they started asking neighbors when the last time they saw Christina was. One neighbor revealed, I told them once I've never seen a woman there, just Danny. I had no idea anyone else lived at the house. The nurses said she was still on the electoral roll and they had to find her. I've been told she'd been dead for years when they got her. With another stunned resident adding, I've never seen him with a wife in all the time I've lived here. It gives me a shudder when I think she could have been lying in that house all that time. Why was there not a smell or flies? It's just so odd. According to police reports, the ground floor property has been boarded up while the forensic officers try to examine the home for clues. But we would love to hear your thoughts on this story though, so make sure you leave us a comment based on what you know and tell us what you think happened to Christina. And by what you know, I mean what I've told you. And while you ponder that, I'm going to be checking out some of your comments from the video titled, TikToker finds out she's deaf 16 years later. Grumpy not happy he says, you think her parents might have realized she couldn't hear them properly. Hey, maybe they just thought it was kids being kids. You know how kids ignore their parents all the time. Annette says, gosh, what about her family, her parents? Wouldn't they have already figured out something is wrong with her daughter? Like for 16 years, they didn't find that to be weird? Something is wrong somewhere. Something is certainly wrong somewhere. There's a little bit of neglect going on, I think. Faith Run says, I must say that five times a day. It's not COVID, just cigarettes. Not that that's any better, but yeah, at least I'm not alone in this. Bonnie Lockwood says, wow, show some real bad parenting. It certainly exposes some bad parenting, for sure. Wayne Will Do It says, who else read that as TikToker found out she was dead? <laughs> no one, just you, Wayne, just you. But you're special for that, and I appreciate it. But that has been today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube.